First one is A minor, as we start with. It's a zero on the first string, a one on the second string, two on the third string with your ring finger, and two on the fourth string with your middle finger. So zero, one, two, two, and zero. Okay. And the strum we're gonna do is gonna be down, down, and in the middle, up, down, up, down, and then two downs at the end. So it goes down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. The ones at the end are a little bit faster than the ones in the beginning. Down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. And you do that on every chord. So the F chord we're going to do is just the top four strings. There's a one on the first string, a one on the second string, two on the third string, and three on the fourth string. And just don't play the bottom two strings. So this little shape is the one that's going to stay in all these chords. One, one, two, and three. Try and get everything really close to the fret and stand them up on their tips. Get them like right next to the fret. Curve your fingers as much as you can. Try not to let your thumb stay up on the top. Just pull it on the back. That lets you kind of reach around a little farther. The more it is on the top, the less you can reach around. So I'm going to try and get it like that. Okay, so now... Okay, now for the C, all you're going to do is take these two fingers and move them to the next string. Also lift up the bar. So the numbers there, when you do that, is just open, there's a one, a two, I'm sorry, an open, a one, an open, a two, and a three, nothing on the sixth string. So open, one, open, two, and three, same strumming. And then the G, same thing, just lift up your pointer finger, and then take these two fingers and again push them up to the next string. So now you got a three on the sixth string and the two is on the fifth string. And if you can get it, grab your pinky on the first string and same strumming. So when you look at that full chord in the tab, it's a three, open, 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 a two, and a three. If you can't get your pinky right away, just don't bother with it. And when you strum, don't hit that string. And if you do happen to hit it, it's not that big a deal, but if you can, stick your pinky on the first string. So he starts out with the A minor, and the verse starts with F, C, G, and back to A minor. Does that all again? There's only two more chords, you might as well do them. Almost all these chords you notice have like a little bit of a stair step. Uh, the next one is basically that same little stair step, except it's these two fingers. It's it's a one on the first string. Um, and so I'm just, uh, John, I'm just recording for the video here that I'm gonna upload, so I'll come back and show you these in a second. Um, it's a one on the first string, a two on the third string, and then a three on the second string. You can do that three on the second string either with your pinky or with your ring finger. So if you look at it string by string, it's one here, three on the second string, two on the third string, and just hit the top four strings. Don't hit the fifth or sixth string. So again, that's one, three, and two. One on the first string, three on the second string, two on the third string. And so it still has a lot of that shape that you were doing in the other chords. The only other chord there is in the song is an E chord. It's the exact same thing as A minor, the first thing we did, except moved over a string. So what that is, is open, open, first and second string, one on the third string, two on the fourth string, and two on the fifth string. And in this one, you do hit the sixth string open. So again, that's open, open, one with your pointer finger on the third string, two, with your ring finger on the fourth string and two with your middle finger on the fifth string. Okay, so that looks exactly like the first chord, A minor, except it's on the next strings over. This is A minor and this is E. That'll get you through and going through the chords and the strumming patterns and a couple things to watch for. Remember, the biggest things are that you want to try and curve your fingers so they're not laying down on the string. Get them up on their tips, get them like right next to your fingernail. 
try and get them as close to the fret as possible and just try and keep your thumb from going up because that pulls your fingers from being able to touch the strings. Re let them reach around as much as possible. Keep it low and you know squeeze against your thumb. If it's up like that, you can't you can't really touch the strings as well. And that'll, that should get you through it. So here's all the chords one more time. A minor, F. So A minor was 0, 1, 2, 2, and 0. F was 1, 1, 2, and 3. C, you just move these fingers over and it's 0, 1, 0, 2, and 3. And then the G is 3, 0, 0, 0, 2, and 3. D minor is 1, 3, and 2. And E is 0, 0, 1, 2, and 2. Zero, zero, one, two, and two. And just get those going in that order. That way you'll be able to play the whole tune. Same strumming all the way. <laughs> 